everyone. I want to talk to you about an experienced cloud portfolio and setting up a domain. Now, this is very different than um, going out and buying a domain in uh, a non-developer, non-trailhead site. If you do that, which I have deployed uh, custom domains before, there's a process where you need to get a certificate signed. But this is just basically if you've got your portfolio or you have a playground and you want to rename it, you can do that. Um, we do have some limitations and I'll show you those. So what I'm talking about is up here, the URL. This is my portfolio. And when I signed up, this is a developer account. Uh, it just gave me some random, I think, whatever I signed up with. And I didn't really have any choice on the domain. And you'll see, like, uh, I have a trailhead right here, and it's called Resourceful Badger. And, you know, they just have their own names. But if you want to customize it, you can. And I definitely wanted to do that. Um, with the developer site, they do leave portions in, like this part right here, this dev, ed, dev ed, uh, to show that it's a developer site, but I did customize uh, the beginning. And so if I look on the back end, of, this is just my portfolio site, and I went to my domain, you can see that I did customize it here. It had a different name. This was assigned to me earlier, and I didn't want that. So I'm going to show you how to do that in a Trailhead Playground or a developer site. So you're going to log in and then go to the setup menu. And we're going to type in domain. Right now, this one's called Resourceful Badger. And you want to go to Company Settings, My Domain. Okay. And while we wait for that to pull up, what I can see right here is this is my current domain name. Okay, so I'm just going to hit edit and I want to rename it. Let's see what we have all the way over here. Okay, so we have to leave the dev ed part. I've tried it before without it won't let me. So if I want to call this, um, well, let's see, I've got several with my name on it. So we'll say this is Jennifer. You put a dash Marie dash test. Okay. Then we leave the rest in there as is. I'm going to hit check availability. At first, it's going to look like it's not doing anything. Right now, it says you've chosen your new domain, Jennifer Marie test dev org, and it's automatically going to put Trailblaze in there uh, just because that is what it does. It is part of the Trailblazer thing. My portfolio is a developer site, and if you look, it does not have that. It just has the uh, dev ed develop right here. Okay, so you just have to work with what you have. Let us go back here where I have put it in. It says it is available. So I'm going to hit save. It's going to give me a warning. Do you want to change it? Yes, I do. So if you do change it and you've referenced it anywhere else, make sure you update um, any kind of references to that. Now, right now, it looks like nothing is happening, but it really is. You give it a second, it changes. So I've got a message saying to choose and register a domain. And now, number two, Salesforce is provisioning the new domain. And what happens is I'm going to get an email telling me when it is ready. Now, I already did this on another site uh, over here, and I've already got the email with the instructions saying it's ready. And now all I have to do is hit this. So it says my current domain is called Mindful Moose. I'm going to rename this one Jen Olson Playground. So I'm going to hit deploy new domain. It'll take just a few minutes. And then when I refresh the page, it is going to have the new domain on it. While I'm waiting, there we go. I'm going to have to log in again. Uh, this is a Trailhead Playground, so I don't have uh, an official login. So I'm going to go find that on another screen to show you uh, real quick here. And that one was the Moose Playground right here. I'm going to relaunch and bring that over to show you. I just don't have the address memorized. So now I can see up here, it says Jen Olson Playground, and it's my dev ed trailblazer site. So that one is finished. So it's super simple. And again, it's very different than deploying a custom domain. That's a whole different process. 
but for a portfolio, it's really neat when you can customize the beginning over here. I would recommend that everybody customize it. It looks a little more professional. So um, I will add some links to other things you can do to customize your portfolio in Experience Cloud.